students welcome back to my lectures of class 12th physics we are studying our chapter current electricity and in this video we will study about two different topics out of that the first one is the internal resistance of a cell okay now here from the name itself you can understand that what actually this topic is it is simply the resistance which is offered by a cell okay actually in a cell we have electrodes we have electrolytes so whatever the resistance is offered for the flow of current by that cell that is called as its internal resistance okay so here it is the resistance offered by the electrolyte and the electrode of a cell when the electric current flows through it we have already studied about the resistance okay and this is the resistance which is offered internally by a cell okay now how this internal resistance is represented here we have different forms in which we can represent this internal resistance here we have the positive electrode we have negative electrode means you can say it's a cell okay and its ems is e and if you will write along with it r it means that this represents the internal resistance no need to draw any kind of resistance here okay in the second diagram along with this cell of ems e we have to draw a small resistance below that cell okay this represents that it is the internal resistance for this cell and also we can draw a small resistance in series along with the cell because this internal resistance that is always connected in the series with a cell okay so either you can represent it directly with a small resistance which is connected here or you can draw without connecting this resistance along with this cell here it does not means that this ems and r both are in parallel no it's simply a small resistance which is not connected it represents that this is the small resistance which is in the cell of ems e so these are the three ways by which we can represent a internal resistance along with the emf e of a cell okay now on which factors this internal resistance of a cell depends we have here four parameters on which this internal resistance depends the first one is the nature of electrode jo electrode hum wahan par lagate hain one is positive electrode and one is negative electrode so what is the nature of that electrode based on that the internal resistance depends it also depends upon the nature of electrolyte the liquid which we are using in a cell on that also the internal resistance depends it also depends on the distance between the electrodes jo do electrode humne laga rakhe hain un dono ke beech ki distance kitni hai us pe depend karta hai and also depends upon the area of electrode immersed in the electrolyte aisa nahi ki wahan par hum dono electrodes ko us electrolytes ke andar pura immerse करके रखेंगे समटाइम्स सम पार्ट ऑफ दैट इलेक्ट्रोड दैट इज आउटसाइड दी लिक्विड सो द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द पार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड व्हिच इज इमर्ज इनसाइड द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ओके सो दीस आर द फोर पैरामीटर्स ऑन व्हिच द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ सेल डिपेंड्स नाउ द सेकंड टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज द टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ अ सेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट दिस टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज it is the potential difference between the two electrodes of a cell in a closed circuit agar hamare paas koi ek closed circuit hai us closed circuit ke andar jo hamare paas potential difference rahega between the electrodes that is called as the terminal potential difference and as it is a closed circuit to iska matlab wahan par current ka flow hona bhi zaruri hai because we have studied the electromotive force electromotive force ke andar kya hai they it is the potential difference between the electrodes when no current is drawn from the circuit lekin wahi par between the same two electrodes of the cell when we are measuring the potential difference when the current is drawn from the circuit then that is called as the terminal potential difference so here is the difference of the open circuit and the closed circuit if the circuit is open then that potential difference is the emf and if the circuit is closed in that case that same potential difference between the two electrodes that is the terminal potential difference okay and here it is represented by v and measured in volts okay so now in order to understand this topic we have to consider a circuit diagram here we are considering a cell of emf e here we have the key and we have an external resistance that is the r okay and let us assume that along with this emf of the cell e we have the internal resistance small r you can also represent this small r in series with the cell okay and i am connecting a voltmeter along with this cell okay so that i can measure the potential difference between the two electrodes okay now in this circuit diagram we have to assume two different cases we have case first 
फर्स्ट केस में क्या होगा विल एज्यूम दैट दिस की इज ओपन की इज ओपन नाउ इफ द की इज ओपन देन व्हाट विल बी द रीडिंग ऑफ दिस वोल्ट मीटर इफ द की इज ओपन इन दैट केस देर विल बी नो करंट इन द सर्किट अगर सर्किट के अंदर करंट फ्लो नहीं होगा देन द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इलेक्ट्रोड ऑफ द सेल दैट विल बी सेम एज द ईएमएफ ऑफ द सेल सेकेंड राइट दिस वोल्ट मीटर विल गिव यू डायरेक्टली द रीडिंग ऑफ ई एम एफ ऑफ द सेल ओके नाउ द केस सेकेंड इन द केस सेकेंड आई एम एज्यूमिंग दैट द की इज क्लोज means i inserted here the key so in that case the current starts to flow from positive side to negative side of the battery and i can assume that current to be i okay now in this particular case what will be the total resistance of the circuit you can see this resistance which is in the series with this cell and this external resistance they both are connected in series so the total resistance will be equals to capital r plus small r this is the total resistance Okay, now in that case, what will be the total current? I can write I is equals to E by R equivalent. So I can write that is equals to E by R plus R. Okay, so here I can write this capital E is equals to I into capital R plus I into small R. Okay, now this capital I into capital R. This is equals to the potential difference which is across the external resistance. मतलब यहाँ पर ये जो external resistance है, इसके अंदर current कितना है? I and the product of current and resistance that is the V. V is equals to I R. Okay, so at this place I can write V plus I into R is equals to E. So I can write this V is equals to E minus I into R. Okay, now we have an important conclusion. Here we assume that this potential difference across the external resistance that is equal to I into R that is equal to V. Or here, for our purpose, V is what? That is the terminal potential difference. So, for our purpose, the external resistance that across potential difference is, that is the terminal potential difference. How will it be? Here, you can see here we have the positive electrode, and the positive electrode is connected to one side of the resistor. I can assume this point to be A. means whatever the potential is that the positive electrode the same potential is that point a in the same way hamare paas yahan par kya hai this is the negative electrode and whatever the potential is at the negative electrode the same potential will be at this point which is b okay because that's the same wire we don't have any other component in between there only the key and there will not be any potential drop across this key so we can assume that whatever the potential is that negative electrode the same potential is that point b मतलब यहां पर जो पोटेंशियल इन दोनों इलेक्ट्रोड्स के बीच में होगा वही पोटेंशियल किसके बीच में अक्रॉस द एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस इसका मतलब यहां पर कि जो टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस है दैट इज इक्वल्स टू द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस द एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सर्किट एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके सो हियर दिस टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस दैट कैन बी एक्सप्लेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस द एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस एंड वन मोर कंक्लूजन यू कैन ड्रॉ फ्रॉम हियर कि अगर मैं यहां पर करंट की वैल्यू जीरो कर दूं। इट मीन्स वी हैव दिस एज एन ओपन सर्किट यहां पर आई की वैल्यू क्या है जीरो इन दैट केस वी इज इक्वल्स टू ई तब क्या होगा यहां पर कि जो हमारे पास टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस है वो क्या हो जाएगा दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू दी ई एम एफ ऑफ दी सेल एंड हाउ वी हैव डिफाइंड दी ई एम एफ ऑफ अ सेल दैट इज दी पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रोस दी इलेक्ट्रोड वेन नो करंट इज ड्रॉन फ्रॉम दी सर्किट सो हियर वी हैव टू इंपॉर्टेंट कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम दिस equation now here from this equation we can draw graph between the potential difference and the current hamare paas y axis pe kya ho jayega we will have the potential difference and here we will have the current okay now we have first v is equals to e matlab jo potential difference hai wo kiske barabar ho jayega emf ke barabar matlab yahan par hame ek constant value kiski aa jayegi emf ki okay but when we have the closed circuit when the current Flows from it. In that case, there will be some drop in the potential. मतलब यहाँ पर जो हमारे पास voltmeter है, इसकी reading क्या हो जाएगी? थोड़ी सी कम हो जाएगी जब भी हमारे पास ये circuit closed होगा. So in that case, the potential difference will reduce, and we can write that is equals to E minus I into R because of that current. पहले E की value क्या थी? It was constant. But because of that current, now we have some decrease in the value of E, and that is equals to terminal potential difference. Okay, this. Straight line you can draw from using this equation in the form of y is equals to m x plus c. We have y that is equals to v on the y axis, and we have on the x axis we have current. So I can write here it is as x, 
and this e is the intercept on the y axis and remaining that is equals to minus of r this minus r is the slope okay here you can see this slope is the negative so by using y is equals to mx plus c you can draw this graph okay now from the same equation that is e is equals to v plus ir i can find the value of internal resistance r internal resistance yahan pe kaise nikal jayega i can write this as e minus v is equals to i into r i can write this r is equals to e minus v by i okay but this i can i write it as v by r because we have from this equation this v is the terminal potential difference i is the total current and r is the resistance so from here i can write this i is equals to v by r so i can write this small r is equals to e minus v by v into r okay or i can write this equation as r is equals to e by v minus 1 whole multiplied with r and this is very important equation we will see it when we will study how to calculate the internal resistance of a cell using potentiometer so r small r is equals to e by v minus 1 into r this e is the emf of the cell v is the terminal potential difference and capital r is the external resistance connected in the circuit so this is how we can calculate the internal resistance okay now in this derivation we have derived that v is equals to e minus i into r and this is when we have the current we are drawing from the circuit it means that this cell is getting discharged मतलब यहाँ पर ये जो इक्वेशन है वो जब भी सेल डिस्चार्ज होगा उसके लिए हमारे पास इक्वेशन है बट वहीं पर जब हम उस सेल को चार्ज करेंगे इन दैट केस वी कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन इज वी इज इक्वल्स टू ई प्लस आई इन टू आर बिकॉज वाइल चार्जिंग वी आर कनेक्टिंग दिस पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी एंड दिस नेगेटिव टू द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी एंड देन दिस सेल वी गेट चार्ज सो इन दैट केस वी आर इक्वेशन वी इज इक्वल्स टू ई प्लस आई आर बिकॉज वी आर गिविंग करंट टू द सेल okay so this is what the equation of charging of a cell so here we have studied a very important topic that is the terminal potential difference and this equation that is v is equals to e minus ir that's a very important equation and that is the terminal potential difference now here we'll see the difference between the emf and the terminal potential difference of a cell first of all emf of a cell it is the maximum potential difference between the two electrodes of a cell when the cell is in open circuit so remember one important thing that we are calculating the emf of a cell when the circuit is in open condition okay that is the key is not inserted in the same way terminal potential difference that is the same that is the potential difference between the electrodes but when the current is drawn from the circuit that is it is in the form of a closed circuit aur jab bhi circuit closed hoga tab wahan par current flow ho sakta hai okay second point is it is independent of resistance of the circuit मतलब एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस सर्किट पे आपने जो भी कनेक्ट कर रखा है उस पर ई एम एफ डिपेंड नहीं करता है बट ये जो टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस है इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दी एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस क्योंकि एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस के अक्रोस जो पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस होगा वही आपके पास क्या होगा दैट विल बी द टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट ऑफ दी सर्किट ओके द थर्ड पॉइंट इज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेचर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट जो हमारे पास ई एम एफ होगा that depends upon the electrodes and the nature of electrolytes and also depends upon the concentration kyunki so, yahan par jo emf hai that is because of the cell construction means that is it depends upon the electrode electrolyte concentration okay but this terminal potential difference that does not depends upon the characteristics of the cell that is on the electrodes and the electrolytes so it is independent of the nature of electrode and electrolytes the next one is emf is used for the source of electric current because whenever we want electric current then we are connecting there a cell so we can say this emf is used as a source of electric current okay and this terminal potential difference it is measured between two points of a circuit hame kisi bhi do point ke beech mein circuit ke andar hame agar potential difference nikalna ho then that is the terminal potential difference okay and here we have last point is the cause and is the effect matlab hamare paas circuit ke andar jab bhi humko current ki requirement hoti hai in that case we are using a cell ओके सो वी कैन से दैट सेल इज अ सोर्स जो हमको करंट प्रोवाइड कर सकता है या फिर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस प्रोवाइड कर सकता है और हमारे पास ये जो टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस है इट्स एन इफेक्ट क्योंकि जब तक हमारे पास एक सेल नहीं होगा तब तक हम किसी भी दो पॉइंट के बीच में पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस नहीं कैलकुलेट कर सकते या फिर हमें दो पॉइंट के बीच में पोटेंशियल नहीं मिलेगा सो दिस ई एम एफ इट्स अ कॉज एंड टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस दैट्स ए इफेक्ट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दी टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ सेल Oh, 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 oh,